reflection of sound. Sound reflects just like the reflection of light. When we hit a rubber ball to a wall, what happens? The ball bounces back. In the same manner, when the sound waves hit a solid or a liquid surface, it also bounces off. So we said just like light, sound can also be made to change its direction. What happens in the reflection of a light? When the light hits a surface, a reflecting surface, then it changes its direction and reflects back. Light rays incident on the surface and get reflected back in a different direction. So, in the same manner, sound also can be made to change its direction and bounce back when it falls on a hard surface. So, this bouncing back of sound when it strikes a hard surface is called reflection of sound. The bouncing back of sound when it strikes a hard surface is called reflection of sound. Since it is just like a reflection of light, even the reflection of sound follows the loss of reflection of light. So, let us list down the loss of reflection of light. There are two laws. Incident sound wave, reflected sound wave and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. So, we must have studied about this loss of reflection of light in the topic of light and the same thing, same laws hold good for sound. So, this is the first law. Let us see what is the second law. The second law is the angle of reflection of sound is always equal to the angle of incidence of sound. So, from these laws we know that all the three rays incident, reflected and normal are lying in the same plane and angle of incidence and angle of reflection are equal. So, how this reflection of sound is created? In their applications generally an obstacle of large size which is either polished or in a rough form is needed for reflection of sound. So, what is needed for reflection of sound? An obstacle of a large size. Something like a wall. Something like a mountain. Like sometimes when we go to a huge hall, an empty hall and stand in a corner. This is a huge hall with walls all over. Then you stand in a corner and make sound, scream. Then what happens? The sound gets reflected back from the walls. So what it required here is a huge wall. So there is a large surface that is required. So we need an obstacle. The obstacle here is a wall. It can be polished or rough, but which is required for reflection of sound. 